as soon as it goes into gear, the doors lock. And again, for me, that I consider that to be safe. When I, when I put it in park, the door is open. And the doors unlock, so it's nice. It's got a super turning radius. It's very comfortable, very smooth, very quiet. It has a nice, steady response in the transmission. If I have to pull out fast, it has the power. This particular car has three modes of driving. This is in comfort right now. It's not difficult to turn. It, it's not a chore like you have power, like you've lost your power steering. But then you can change it again, and you can go into normal mode. And and this is the way most cars handle when you drive. It doesn't have a tremendous sharp response in the normal, but when you get into sport. It has a very quick, quick response. I love the cruise. I have it on, and I'll set it. We're doing 40 miles an hour. To give you an idea, it's, it's already at 45. And when you slow down, it goes down fast, too. This particular car, as I say, is, is very comfortable to drive. It's very quiet. You don't hear a lot of road noise. And if I wanted to move into a quick turn, fortunately there wasn't a car coming, but if I decided that there was a car coming that I could safely get in front of, at least this has the power to, to drive and to move. It holds the road, uh, and a lot of times if you go next to a car on the, on the freeway or the expressways, you get next to a truck and you have that wind coming off of the truck, that hits the car and it kind of makes the car shake. This one, it doesn't do it at all. It's just super, very smooth. There's so many things about it that they're not what I consider to be the bells and whistles, but they make the drive and the ride much more enjoyable. See, I like this car and, and anybody else who decides to buy this car or buy a car like it, are going to be, is going to be pleasantly surprised at how much they enjoy the car and how enjoyable the car is to drive, to ride in, and more importantly to own.